Oh, okay, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some benchmarks on the HTC One. And just to say, I did do a full reboot before I'm going to start any of these tests, so you could check the this. Let me close that. So first we're going to do an two two benchmark. We're going to run a full one and see what kind of scores we get. That's the score I got when the first time I did it. We're just going to test it one more time. So we've got twenty three thousand first time, and we're going to start it. While this is going, I'm just going to speed through it so you don't have to sit through the whole test. So this is the second test that I've done and I've got 23,000 again. It seems to be averaging about 23,000. You can see the scores at the GPU, the CPU, the RAM and the IO write speed got. And yeah, this is N22. We're going to jump into another benchmarking application. We're going to be doing Quadrant Standard. Standard test. We want to see what kind of scores we get. I've got a pretty decent score when i done it the first time. So you can see how it's flying through the test. Okay, and the test is done. We're gonna get the results. And we've got 12,000. Zoom in a bit so you can see. So you've got 12,558, and I've got around the same results when I did it the first time. So you can see how it compares to the HCC one next, the transformer, it just blows out the water. Um, definitely a very, very good score. Um, next one we're taking a look at is Limpack. We're going to run a couple single threads and multi threads and see what kind of scores we get. So, first of all, 272, 294, 385, 285. So, you can see we're getting like the top um, around the 280 mark around that. And we're going to run the multi thread. Multi thread is 600, 661. 533, 620, 544, 691, which is probably the highest one I've ever got. And you get a good idea of how um, good the, and high the results are with this. So that's Limpack. Um, before we do that, let's close this and then take a look at Nenemark 2. We're going to see what kind of results we get with that gonna run it, I haven't run a test before so uh, see what kind of scores we get. Speakers are mad. Let's turn this down a bit. There you go. Yep, 62 frames per second. So pretty much um, good results with Nenomart 2, no problems there. Higher uh, frames and we're gonna be taking a look at Smart Bench just to finish things off. And let me just Close you, close these two again. So there's nothing running in the background. Let's go back into Smart Bench. And we're going to run the benchmark and wait for this to finish. And the test are finished. Now it's a pretty quick test, so. Let's display index scores. I don't know if you can actually see that, the writing's a bit small. Let me have a closer look. So for the productivity index we've got 7064 and for the gaming index is 2878. And yeah, that's about it for benchmarking on the HTC One. 
if there's any benchmark applications that I missed and you want me to do leave that in the comment um, section down below and I'll be more than happy to do it and this has just been a quick video showing you the benchmark results that I get from the HTC One and how well the phone performs or what kind of results it gets um, let me know in the comment section down below are you happy with the results do you like the results leave all that good stuff in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos and thanks for watching peace